What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Gerald from Bank of Gerald here with another video update. Today is Monday, September the 5th, 2022. Today, we're going to talk about one of our favorite, favorite platforms here in the space. Today, it is a platform that has been consistent. It is a platform that has just been doing its thing. It has what I believe is a great system, but it had a tough weekend. And that's what I want to get into today. There were some things that I didn't quite um, even know, right? Um, in the last video that I did on Novatech, um, of course... I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice, and I'm not your financial advisor. I'm just a dude on YouTube showing you guys how I am cranking out that crypto in many, many different platforms. Now, if you like this content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you want to be updated and notified about everything going on here at BOJ, make sure you hit the notification bell as well. Let's go ahead and get into it. So this weekend, and I say it was a tough weekend for Novatech because um, it, it just received, I believe, a whole lot of scrutiny for what I do not believe is a good enough reason for. Now, of course, I want to preface all of this by sharing that this is my opinion, right? And this is based off a person that has been involved with Novatech since November of last year. So we're in September of 2022. So I've almost been in it for a whole year, a couple more months, and it'll be a whole year that I've been involved in Novatech. And I've seen the amazing things that it's done for not only me and my family, but a lot of people that I don't even know. A lot of people that I've met through the journey. A lot of people um, that have gone before me and been a, a part of this platform before me and have just been um, reaching new heights, right? Um, but for the new person, right, you may not quite understand some of the things that have gone on. And uh, the last video I did on Novatech, I talked about how on Fridays, usually the system is really bogged down and it is congested with so many people that are trying to see what their earnings are, trying to do withdrawals. You know, Fridays are fry yay. So there's a lot of excited people checking in on checking into the Novatech website on Fridays and Saturdays because Fridays is a payday, Saturday is a bonus payday. All right. So that was already an issue that we kind of knew about. But some of the profits, I believe, were hitting late. So I got a couple notifications from some people that says, hey, you know, you know, Friday, we're kind of used to it being slow, but Saturday, you know, Saturday is when, you know, especially Saturday night, Sunday morning, we're used to seeing this and seeing that and things happening before then. And I even heard that um, some people's commissions didn't hit till after Saturday night. Um, and I think that might have been the case for me, but because I, my own personal plan, because I know that the system is bogged down on the weekend, is I just usually wait till Sunday. I wait till Sunday evening sometimes to do a withdrawal or do any movement um, because I know it's going to be congested on Friday and Saturday. And that's just me. Um, some people would rather get that in sooner. And I wonder to myself, what are the reasons that people would want to rush that, right? Some people had mentioned that, hey, uh, we're losing out on trading days if we don't get this in soon enough, right? Um, because, and some people even said that because in the United States, they're trading crypto and uh, Forex is, you know, trading during the weekdays and this, that, and this. And the third, a lot of that I'm not 100% on, all right? I'm not sure that a person misses out on trading days um, previous to Monday's day of deposit. Now, if anybody out there has concrete information on that, feel free to share that in the um, in the in the comments. I know my, my uplines do, so I'm sure they'll chime in, they'll hit me up or even put it in the comment section soon enough when people need to have their compounding uh, redeposits in to make sure they're getting a full worth, uh, full week's worth of profit. Um, of course, Friday is the day that the profit numbers come out. So I always just said to myself, and because I'm not new, I've had money in here for a while, and pretty much right now I'm in a withdrawing phase, right? I'm in a place where I have re I, I, I've engineered this platform or re-engineered this platform to create an income for myself. And we'll talk about that in a few minutes because I know people have had questions when I say that, all right? So I'll explain what I mean by that one more time. Um, but I'm in, not in a place where I am constantly compounding. So I'm not worried about the days that I miss, right? So some of you are in a different position. Some of you are growing your accounts. You're building your accounts week by week by week. The earnings that you're getting, you're depositing it. And you, know, you want to make sure that you're not missing out on any days of profit um, that equate to whatever the percentage is at the end of the week. So I understand that. Um, and I believe that someone with knowledge on that will will make it clear. I don't have that knowledge right now, but if I get it before it may it gets posted in the comment section or something like that, I'll definitely do the next video and we'll talk about um, when you need to have your redeposits in to make sure that on Friday when Friday happens, 
you've gotten the full percentage of whatever um, Novatech is paying out for that week. All right. Um, so I know that's important to people. I'm not negating that. I just wanted to bring it up that some people just don't know that the system is bogged down. And then, of course, there are some people that just believe that this is an easy fix, right? This is something that Novatech should have been already had uh, uh, completed. They should have already known this was an issue and gotten better at it. Now, that's all everyone's opinion, okay? Um, we are not the owners of Novatech, nor are you the owner of Novatech. So whether you believe that the, the process is easy to upgrade or not, it is not your choice to make. Um, if you want that choice, consider starting your own platform. And I'm not trying to be snippy or anything like that. But um, I think a lot of people just want the perfect situation all the time. And we already know that everything is not going to be perfect, all right? Especially with a growing platform. You don't expect a baby, you don't expect a three-year-old to drive a car, right? You don't say, hey, three-year-old, I, I used to drive professionally. <laughs> I don't... I, I may not drive professionally anymore, but I know since it was easy for me to drive professionally, I'm sure for this three-year-old baby over here, that's got to be simple and easy as well. When the fact of the matter is, it's not that. And of course, the platform is not a baby. It would be a billion-dollar baby. <laughs> but what I'm saying, and I'm not even sure what their what their actual revenue stream, you know, what their revenue is at this point. So I don't know them to be a billion-dollar company or not. I don't know. But what I do know is it's not for us to decide how a platform upgrades itself and when a platform upgrades itself. It's for the business and the entity and the platform to decide when it's time for it to do that. And, of course, we, have a, um, we play a role in that because um, the gripes that we have had, they have heard, right? And um, I received word from my upline that they are, uh, it is a priority to make sure that this website is improving in its efficiency okay they are aware of the problem they understand what the problem is and they're trying to find the best solutions to figure it out but uh, like one of my upline says the system works fantastic um, as a matter of fact i made a withdrawal on sunday it was here this morning and that's some of the things that i know are um, what people are concerned about if they put their money in novatech are they going to be able to get it out and everyone wants to know that right but remember we never want to invest anything that we're not willing to lose, okay? That's even if we're willing to lose it in order to gain, okay? I've put over $100,000 into Novatech, okay? So if there's anybody that's paying attention to what Novatech's, you know, got going on, if there's issues and problems, uh, it should be me, right? I don't pay attention all the time because I've kind of been spoiled. Novatech has been an amazing platform for me so far, and it's been an amazing platform for a lot of people that I know that are in it. Um, whether they're above me or below me, there's a lot of people that are excited about what Novatech is doing. But let's not get so excited that we expect them to be perfect, okay? They're not going to be perfect. There is no platform. There's nothing under the sun that is perfect, okay? Nothing. So let's, let's stop expecting perfection. Let's just be, one, let's be grateful that this opportunity even exists. I know there's a lot of grateful people out there, so shout out to you guys. We clap it up for the grateful people. But let's also give them the time to work it out. It, it, we have every right to let them know what we'd like to see improve. And, of course, they want to know what we'd like to see improve. And we can let them know. Um, but let's, let's be um, cognizant of the process. Um, they're dealing with way more. And for the people that suggest that it's easy to just make those changes, then I would, uh, I would disagree with you. I would say that it's not as easy as you may think to do that. And... That's with me having very limited knowledge of IT and all that different stuff, all right? Um, I don't believe that anything like that at this scale is going to be an easy fix. Um, it's going to take some work, and it can get done. So that is what we're focused on, um, hoping that it will get done whenever it gets done. Um, and if it takes longer, that just means that the platform lasts that much longer to me. I mean, if it takes another year for them to fix it, that means that the platform lasted another year, right? So... And the platform being available is what is most important to me. I don't care if that I have to wait till Sunday to withdraw, redeposit, Monday, whatever. I'll do that, and we'll, we'll do things the right way. Excuse me. But that's that. Um, and then the last thing I want to mention, um, someone asked me how I reverse engineer platforms. So I'll just share this really quickly. In my own mind, right? And if you can do this, then consider it. If you can't, then maybe it's something you work up to, right? For me, where I've worked up to, 
when there's a platform that I want to receive a certain amount of money from per week, per day, per month, whatever that is, sometimes you got to do a little bit of math and say, okay, well, Novatech, let's just hypothetically say it's an average of 12% a month. What number of 12%, what, 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 you know, what would that be for me to be sustainable? What would it be to, for me to add a, a, a stream of income? So say if I'm getting 3% from a Novatech, and I say, I want to earn $3,000 a week. I want to earn $12,000 a month. What would I have to put in to earn that, okay? That is what you would, that is what I'm calling reverse engineering a platform for um, creating an income for yourself. You decide what it is that you want to earn, all right? And then you say, well, based on this and based on this, if I deposit this and everything goes well, right, understanding the risk that it could go bad, right? I'm willing to put this amount in to earn this amount, X amount, and that's going to add X amount to my income. So that is how I've done that, and I've done that in several platforms. As you guys know, I have $100,000 in this platform. I'm a President's Club member. I have actually more than $100,000 in this platform. But I say that to say that this platform has been paying me all those different percentages that we make per week, whether it's .6, whether it's 4 point something. I'm getting that on the deposit amount that I have in, the, in my trading account. And my trading account only increases or decreases if I decide to add to it or pull from it. And I like keeping it where it's at because it's creating an income. So um, with that being said, I've gone to a lot, but hopefully everyone isn't losing their minds completely on Novatech. Novatech has been a great system. It has a great system in place. Um, it, there's no need to recreate the wheel. There could be some reasons to improve efficiency, and I believe that they already understand um, what they need to do to do that. They just want to make sure that they're working with the right people, trustworthy people, because a lot of people don't like bringing new people into their family. It's just it, when you have something close-knit and you've been working on it a long time, a lot of people from outside, they could not have the right intentions, come in and screw things up. And I think a part of the reason why they're taking their time with this is because they want to do it the right way in a way that's only going to add to the value of Novatech and not subtract from it. All right. With that being said, please put your 2FA on all the platforms that will allow you and all your wallets because crypto is indeed the wild, wild west. And guys, if you ain't strapped, you're bound to get hacked. All right. Ask me how I know. It's not very fun at all. If you like this content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. If you want to be updated and notified about everything going on here at BOJ, just make sure you hit that notification bell as well. All right. I will see y'all in the next video. Peace out.